Hello, we are on example number four in pension accounting. And this is an amendment to the pension plan. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this, um, but you know, I'm, I'm a parent and if you're like me and I have, you have young teenage kids and one day they come up to you and they go, mom, dad, where does accumulated other comprehensive income prior service costs come from? At least out of this lecture, you'll be able to answer that awkward question. So let's get on with it. Um, prior service cost is ben are benefits accrued for service prior to a plan amendment. Okay, so um, let's say a company And it's right here. They increase the, they have a plan amendment. So this isn't an actuarial change. Management changes the actual pension contract and uh, without a court. So in normal circumstances, the only thing management can do in the United States is change the contract to increase benefits. Okay, so they can't unilaterally decrease benefits. So which is part of, if you're familiar with the Illinois pension, state pension, program that's part of the issue is that uh, management isn't allowed to just say oh you worked for 30 years but now we're going to change your pension but it's you know kind of makes sense um, so anyway it's always going to increase the PBO unless it goes through a court proceeding but we're not we're doing normal accounting that we're assuming that it's a ongoing concern um, and what the FASB has said, oh, company, you are so nice for giving these benefits for prior service. We're not going to make you take the full 23000 through service cost and increase pension expense in this year. What we're going to do is allow you to amortize that so you can put it in as a debit to accumulate other comprehensive income and then every year run part of it through OCI prior service costs, all right? So this, this uh, I'm not gonna take very long doing this, but let me just quickly explain it to you. So here's the plan amendment. So before, this takes effect on January 1 of this year, this particular amendment. So it increases the obligation 23,000, but it's not a component of pension expense directly. It goes through comprehensive income. So it, at the beginning of the year, is 23,000, okay? Now, if this had happened on December 31, and we were doing that December 31, there'd be nothing to amortize, because it's just like, you know, if I bought a truck on December 31, I wouldn't depreciate it, but if I bought it on January 1st. So in this example, the amendment is effective on January 1, so we have to do amortization. So we take the 23,000 divided by the average remaining service life of active employees, which is 10, hence the 23,000. So this is uh, prior service cost amortization. Okay. And you went from a zero balance to a balance of 23,000 net the current year's amortization of 20, oops. 20,700 dollars. All right. So just short and sweet, that's where it comes from. Um, these other components you're familiar with, we've seen these several times, they didn't change. Um, corridor was a little different here. Why was corridor different? Oh, I know why corridor was different. This is one little tricky thing. Because you had the plan amendment, it changed your beginning balance by 70, by 23,000, so now uh, the corridor, which I call the hurdle, is 10% times 760,400 instead of the one you saw in the prior example. So the corridor did change a little bit just as a result of that. Um, regardless, more or less the same example from example three. The big thing is this, this change. Okay, so that's it, that is, uh, Amendment to a pension plan. 
And let's see, your prior service cost. So now this is interesting, I guess. I'll point this out. This is the uh, increase, oops, due to amendment net of amortization. So it's the 23,000 less the 2300 amortization. So this is the one time you'll see a debit entry for OCI prior service because not a debit balance, it's a normal debit balance, but it's a normal debit balance because here we're recognizing the amendment. So typically OCI prior service cost is a credit for amortization. Here we're recognizing an initial balance in the OCI prior service cost, all right? Here's your OCI gain loss, here's your contribution, and this would be your plug, just like the other ones. All right, so that's it. That's a pension plan amendment. And um, uh, I think that's all we're gonna say about that. Not really, not a super important part. I like to include it because you'll see it in the uh, textbook in particular, and it'll, it might throw you for a loop, but it's kind of an, this is kind of an extra. All right, and that's it.